Okay, this is a little guy stuff at Busy Corner Lane, and we got Aspen over here. Aspen the Destroyer, right? We're going to talk about Aspen. Okay, I got Aspen, favorite tree here. Aspen, Aspen, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Any day? Oh, thank you. Okay. Stay. Stay. Good boy. Now, look how gently he took that. Okay, yeah, he had to be told to sit down a couple times. Right? But he's still learning. He's a baby. He's huge, right? He's 70 pounds, and he is still a baby. Okay, so let's uh, let's talk about him a little bit, and I'm gonna get the camera moved so we can just kind of kind of keep him in the view. Okay, I've had I've had people actually criticize me online uh, when I do videos of him, saying I should train him. Okay, because they see him acting very aggressively. Okay, and what they don't know is, you know, or what they don't realize is he is still a baby. Okay, and one of the things that babies do is they will chew on stuff. Um, and the reason they do that is because um, their mouth goes through a lot of pain with their teeth coming in and stuff. So we've got right here, this is actually a little plastic bag where we're saving the teeth that we find. He's almost got all of his adult teeth in, okay? Um, when, when we got him, um, the, the puppy farm type thing that we got him from, they were bragging about, uh, they use shock sticks on their dogs, on the, on the puppies, to try to keep them in line and not be mischievous, okay? Very, very cruelly, cruelty to animal uh, type thing going on. Um, but my wife saw his picture online uh, as a baby. I mean, he, he's just, he's still in the litter, still nursing. And yeah, and my wife just fell in love with him and said, oh, you know, I just, just really want to have him. And so we basically, we rescued him from this place. They were going to sell him eventually. But until then, they were going to be like electroshocking the dogs. And that's just awful. Okay. So um, what happens with him, though, is his breed is Anatolian Shepherd. And they get to about 180 pounds full grown. He's a male, okay? And so in in his breed, you know, they will aggressively play with the other puppies in the litter. They'll be they'll be biting on them, they'll be like trying to chew on them and stuff. They're not doing it to be violent. But what they're doing is they're learning how much to uh, pressure to put into a bite. And, and how to take pain and, and to let people know that they're hurt, like with the crying sounds and stuff. They are learning a lot of stuff in that litter. And so we got him, he's still a baby. He, he did not have that time in the litter to really do the more aggressive type stuff that um, they get out of when they get older, right? So, and, and I'll kind of bring this over like this. I made this tether ball from that he just absolutely loved and he he got tired of using the ball so we, we took his favorite towel tied knots in it, and put it on the string and if you watched on the videos he is like destroying this like he is the most violent aggressive dog on earth okay I mean if you look at that video uh, probably the thought that goes through your mind is oh my god this dog is out of control right okay um, he doesn't act like that with us though he only acts like that with uh, the chew toy type things. And yes, we let him have things to chew on. Like uh, right out over here, <laughs> I got this huge piece of tree stump that I was uh, cutting earlier. And we're letting him find, you know, get his final destructive stuff out with that. So it's not a thing about training this dog, okay? This dog is very intelligent. He, he knows just what to do when he's inside the house. We have him as an inside dog. He knows exactly what to do when he's inside the house. He doesn't do anything to get in trouble. He is playful. Okay, he will pick up a sock or something like that, and he will do what we call the happy walk, where he's kind of just kind of prancing a little bit, and he'll walk over to his bed, and he'll set it down. He won't chew on the sock, but he'll, he'll drop it out of his mouth and set his head on top of it to see if we notice. Okay, so he, he is playful. He's mischievous. But... He doesn't destroy inside the house. He only takes his, um, his, his, his destructive type nature out on his toys and that's when they're outside. So um, for people to say, oh, you, you gotta train him. No, it's not about training. You gotta understand the dog. I've been doing this with puppies uh, 
basically since I was 10 years old. So I've been doing this for the last 50 years and no two puppies are alike. But I can tell you this, he is like a middle school student, okay? I was a school teacher for 26 years before I retired. He is like a middle school student, okay? He's going to see what he can do that, and see if we notice and see if he can get away with something. If, he, if we let him get away with something, then he's going to think it's okay. Now, we don't punish him. We redirect his behavior. So say we don't want him grabbing that sock, right? Well, I'll go over with one of his play toys that he's not aggressive with, and I will put that down next to him, and I will trade him, and I will take the sock back. We don't say no uh, in, a, in a loud manner. We don't go like, no, like we're really upset with him. We'll just say no, and we'll just kind of shake our head, and we'll just say it just like that. And he cues on that. We never raise our voice with him. So when you look at his videos, and you say, oh, my God, this dog is like really the most destructive thing on the planet. No, not really. Look at him. Man, he's so calm and peaceful. But his destructive stuff was, number one, uh, testing his boundaries to see um, what he could do bite-wise on stuff. He'll put my arm or hit my hand in his mouth, and I've got a handicapped hand. And it really bothers me to have anything touch it. But he'll put it in his mouth and be so gentle, it does not bother me at all. Okay, I mean, seriously, I had, I had fingers amputated and reattached. So they bothered me. They've been bothering me for the last five years. But he will be so gentle that it's, it's like my hand's not even in the mouth. Okay, um, but he, he's doing that because he's still practicing uh, how to bite gently. So if he was to bite hard, we'd let him know, but we're not going to yell at him and stuff like that because that actually triggers dogs to think it might be fun time because we get loud, okay? Um, large dogs are not for everybody, though. <laughs> you know, if he was a small dog, you know, I had a, I had a, a collie that never got more than 30 pounds when I was, when I was a kid, and... This was probably one of the smartest dogs around. I mean, seriously, this dog could tell time, okay? I had a beagle that could actually play drum rudiments and won a contest doing that, okay? Um, so I'm used to dealing with dogs and helping them get really smart. Uh-oh, where are you going? <laughs> oh, I see that. Okay, come here. See, he wants a snack, right? Okay, watch how gentle he's going to be. Come here. Right. Sit down. Sit. You don't remember what sit means? Come on. Sit down. All right. I'm going to eat it myself. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, it's mine now, buddy. Hey, it's right here. Sit down. Sit. You're going to make a liar out of me? That is so rude. Let me move that out of the way. Sit. Sit down. Okay, it took him a while, right? No. Stay. Stay. Good boy. Look at how gentle that was. Yeah, we're still working on the sit part. But, uh, but he's getting it. He's getting it. There's so many other things he's learning uh, right now, though, that, I mean, we could be overwhelming him also. Because it wasn't up until a week ago that... You know, he wasn't doing good on a leash. My wife could not actually have him on a leash because she only weighs 100 pounds. And he literally could just drag her down the road. I'm 200 pounds, so uh, I'm a heavier weight to move, <coughs> so to speak. And I would just stop in my tracks. So we had to get him out of the, uh, the, the sled dog type mentality where somehow he thinks he's a husky and we're in that race in Alaska. Okay. But he's a, he is a real good dog. Okay, I know I paint him with a bad light when I make all those Athena to destroy your videos, but when it comes down to it though, he's not really that destructive, at least not anymore. Okay, very gentle, sweet dog. So, uh, that's all I got to say, say about that. I could be going on for like all day long about Aspen though. Um, but, but he is actually a, um, he's a handful sometimes, but he's a good handful. It's not like he's a handful, like he's always getting in trouble. No, he's a handful because he does mischievous things. And uh, and we like that, though. It keeps us on our toes. I'm old, so I don't mind being kept on my toes. Um, this is old guy stuff with uh, Busy Corner Lane. Uh, let me know what you think of Aspen. Okay. 
he by the time he is an adult and he's 180 pounds uh, this he is going to be uh, probably uh, the most passive animal around all the dogs around here every, every 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 home has a dog has at least one dog the one behind us has two big rottweilers the ones to the side has got uh, three different uh, types of dogs one of them's a big pit bull and uh, other than the pit bull is very calm all the other dogs in the neighborhood act very aggressive but Aspen will not respond to the aggression they'll just sit there quietly and just watch and listen but he does not participate in aggression when other dogs are making all their noise and stuff he just sits there and watches he's not intimidated he's not afraid you don't see that in him but what you see is he's studying he really looks like he's studying the situation like I said he's like a middle school student middle school students are not dumb middle school students are probably some of the smartest people around sometimes they act dumb yeah I, I, I will give them that but you know, they don't do that because they want to get in trouble. Sometimes they act dumb because they're bored because they're so smart they're not being challenged mentally. Okay, so just something to kind of remember with our dogs, you know. We got all his uh, rough aggressive behavior knocked off. I mean, oh, totally. I mean, you don't see any aggression with them now. And we got that all taken care of uh, basically through love and just trying to understand him. What is, what is triggering a particular behavior? And we know for a fact that he was losing teeth. And as he was chewing on those toys aggressively, we'd see a tooth come out and we'd see some blood. And a lot of dogs will eat those teeth, um, but we picked them up before he did. At least some of them. We don't have all of them, but at least some of them. So he's got almost all his adult teeth now. So his, his aggressive days really, I think, are totally over. So I won't be able to do any more Aspen to destroy your videos probably, but he is a sweetheart though. Yeah, I'm talking about you. All right, well, this, this is telling with old guy stuff at Busy Corner Lane. Uh, I know I signed off a little while ago, but then I need something else to say. So anyway, um, take care. Have a safe, happy, peaceful, wonderful day, and goodbye.